Jeff here at FarmerPricing.org. Thanks for stopping by. I just wanted to give you another quick video analysis of the implications of hepatocellular carcinoma, or HCC, approval in Bayer and Onyx's Nexavar. Last week, we looked at some of the factors that go into this comprehensive analysis. Today, we're going to dive right back into this quarterly global revenue data and examine the immediate implications of HCC approval on Nexavar. We're going to use Sutent by Pfizer Pharmaceuticals as a historical control. Notably, Sutent outsold Nexavar by approximately 15% over the course of the relative period, as you can see in this graph. What's important to remember, though, is the relative revenue changes and volatility over the period we'll be looking at, which is about the first quarter of 2008 to around the first quarter of 2010. Now, notice how Nexavar was approved for HCC in the, around the first quarter of 2008. Over this time, growth remained strong in both drugs, but by about the third, second or third quarter uh, of 2008, Sutton's revenue growth was really starting to lag, and in fact reversed. Now, during this time, Nexavar revenues remain, remained robust. Um, this indicates that uh, perhaps HCC approval uh, provided a bump in Nexavar revenues where it otherwise would have faltered because there was a large area of unmet need as this was the first targeted therapeutic approved and the first new therapeutic approved for HCC in over 30 years. However, only 18 months later, um, next of our revenue growth slowed, uh, and in fact, it looks exactly like the uh, profile of the student revenue just transformed about six quarters uh, to the right or later in time. Now, please remember that my collaborator, Dr. Larry Gorkin, with 25 years of industry experience, including 13 at Pfizer as a director of evidence-based and value-based market strategies, access strategies. Uh, he's really the driver behind this work, and I'm, I'm privileged to be working with Larry and to be able to be his sounding board uh, and, and get his insights on these uh, pricing agreements. Um, you know, notably as well here, uh, around the first quarter of 2009, uh, Pfizer suit and revenue started to rebound quickly, um, and that's probably due, uh, at least in part, in, to a reversal uh, decision by NICE, wherein they approved suit and, uh for RCC, renal cell carcinoma, uh, and it's the only targeted treatment available uh, through the NHS. So uh, that's what I wanted to show you today. Uh, the immediate implications of HCC approval in next of our sales uh, using Sutton as a historical control. So that's between the first quarter of 2008, uh, and we're looking right up until uh, around the fourth quarter of 2009. Um, next week, we'll look at epidemiology and global forecasting uh, for both of these drugs with a particular focus on the realities of growth in Asian markets. This is Jeff at farmerpricing.org. Thanks again.